This is a declaration prayer. As we enter 2023, we are declaring the word of God over every day, moment, second, hour, situation, circumstance, interaction, and engagement over this 2023 year. Before we get into the prayer, I just want to let you know that this prayer, this declaration prayer, is rooted in the scripture, Galatians 5, 22 to 23. As I was preparing to put this together, the Lord said, declare the fruit of the Spirit over your life in 2023. Because when you examine the fruit of the Spirit according to these scriptures, you will see that we need every single one of them over every situation, circumstance in our life, especially as we go into a new year. This new year is not just any other year. It is a divine favorable year that God has given us to see, to live, to explore, and to engage in what he has for us, both in the natural and in the supernatural. And so we are declaring the fruit of the Spirit over our life in 2023. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 declares, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. And so that tells us as we declare these fruit over our spirit, over our mind, over our bodies, over our families, over our careers, over our kingdom building, that there is no limit, there is no restriction, and there is no law. So let us declare, in 2023 the fruit of love we declare that the fruit of love will abound abide overflow and direct us in everything that we do in 2023 corinthians 16 14 we're declaring over our lives that we do everything in love in 2023 we declare that now as we embark upon this new year we declare that in 2023, that we will be filled with joy, not temporal joy, not circumstantial joy, not temporary joy, but joy that is everlasting, joy that is strengthening, joy that is fulfilling, joy that supersedes and every circumstance, according to Romans 12, 12. Let's declare joy according to this scripture that says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer and that's what we're declaring over our lives in 2023 joy of the lord in the name of jesus we declare that our lives in 2023 will be peaceable peaceful and abounding in peace the bible tells us and we declare john 14 27 over us that says the lord has given us peace he leaves with us he said his peace i give to you i do not give to you as the world gives I do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. We declare that 2023, come on, declare it over your life, that I will live a peaceful and peaceable life in the name of Jesus. Say, I am a peacemaker in 2023. I walk in peace. I live in peace. I reside in peace. The peace of God is my identity in 2023 in the name of Jesus. We declare that the fruit of patience will be our portion in 2023 we declare the word of god over our lives in the name of jesus ephesians 4 2 come on declare it declare it be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing one another in love there goes peace and love goes together we declare that in 2023 that we are humble that we are abounding in love and that we are patient and gentle with each other when we feel that the enemy is using people or certain circumstance or situation to rattle our peace and our patience we declare that we are patient humbled and waiting on the lord bearing up in love in the name of jesus we declare that the fruit of the spirit of kindness of kindness 
will be ours. We will walk in kindness. We declare that kindness is oozing, is exuding, is part of who we are. Our namesake is kindness. And we declare Galatians 6, 9 to 10 over our lives in 2023. It says, be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiven one another as God in Christ forgave you. And so we declare that kindness will be ours in the name of Jesus. We will not only receive kindness, but we will give kindly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're declaring the fruit. Come on. We're still declaring that the fruit of the spirit is our is our identity it's in our dna it's in our personness our personhood our personality it's in our core cognitive mind it is who we are the fruit of the spirit embodies us as we do the will of god we declare that in 2023 that we're walking out goodness and we declare chronicles 16 34 over our lives in the name of jesus it says oh give thanks to the lord for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. And so we will not fail in 2023 to give God praise for his goodness over our lives in Jesus' name. We declare that we are faithful in 23. We will not be distracted in our faithfulness. We will not compromise our faithfulness. We will not abandon our faithfulness unto God in 2023. We declare the word of God in Proverbs 3, three to four we declare that the word of god says let love and faithfulness never leave you bind them around your neck hallelujah write them on the tablet of your heart then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of god and man because we are faithful because we are steadfast because we are not compromising because we remain diligent unto the lord we will receive favor in the name of jesus in 2023 according to his word hallelujah we declare gentleness we declare gentleness somebody say right now i declare that i am a gentle person under the mighty hand of god in 2023 we declare that philippians 4 5 is our portion let gentleness be evident to all the Lord is near. And so we declare that we exude gentleness. We demonstrate gentleness and we provide gentleness appropriate in the right season and circumstance in 2023. In the name of Jesus, we declare that in 2023, that we have a level of self-control that we have never seen, that we have never experienced, that we have never given before. We declare according to 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has given us not a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. And so when things are seemingly unraveling around us in 2023, we stand firm and sure on the promises of God, leveling us, bringing us to equilibrium in the spirit, and making us known to be one of great self-control, not moving ahead, not moving behind God, but moving in sync. We declare there's a synchronism that is happening in our emotions, in our feelings, in our actions and our behavior. And we are not controlled by the wilds of the world, but we are controlled and subdued under the Holy Spirit. And so we declare that in 2023, that we exude a level of self-control that is similar to that of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I pray all of these fruit of the spirit is unto us in 2023. As you are listening to this prayer, declare right now that I walk in 2023 with joy, with love, with peace, with patience, with kindness, with goodness, with faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That is who I am in 2023. And I give God all the glory and the praise because I walk in the fruit of the spirit this year in 2023. God bless you. You may need to pray this prayer over and over throughout the year, but God knows that we are walking this out in 2023. And if you agree, somebody say, amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening. If you were blessed, please make sure that you subscribe 
share comment and give us a like on youtube this is the wisdom series and i am dr cindy jordan god bless you